Good morning everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic afternoon. Today I would like to pursue some artworks. Now, I will be drawing one of my favourite YouTubers, Keemstar. Without further ado, let's begin. So first, I'm going to start with the hat, because it's always best to work from head to toe to get as much detail in the face as possible, seemingly because I think that's the best way to make a sculpture of this kind. Now, now that the hat's done, I'm just going to add a little K right there, just so that's what he has in his hat. Now, I'm just going to scroll it out. I believe Keemstar wears a green hat, so I'm just going to crap out there and make it make it nice and green, because I believe Keemstar wears a, a green hat, as far as my knowledge is. Now there it is, it's starting to look excellent. Now this bit I'm just going to crap out with a nice shade of black. There we go, all nice and... Um, nice hat so first let's begin drawing his face so I'm just gonna draw a nice round face you don't want it too you don't want it too big just perfect size there excellent so now I'm just gonna draw his nice ears so I'm just draw the, his, his lobes you can't forget his lobes so let's add that as well let's go on out it's looking brilliant every minute but you can't forget the other one I just don't know what the there we go, excellent. Now we've got to just simply scroll out and let's make this a little bit smaller just so they can add the rest of his body as well as that. So uh, just going to make sure that that's perfectly in line. Let's begin drawing his lovely beard because I think this is going to be the best part of the drawing, the Keemstar beard. So let's just quickly fill that in with a nice shade of black. Oh, oops, magic wand. And quickly fill that in with a nice shade of black and so it looks... There we go, excellent. Now I'm just gonna quickly crop out all these extra white bits that are in his beard, seemingly because it does it looks really unprofessional. But uh, I'm just gonna first make sure the beard is nice and from ear to lobes. I'm not gonna get rid of all the bits, just so it makes it look like he's had something to eat, like a packet of crisps or something. So that's uh, let's just get these extra white bits out right here. I'm just gonna there we go. Good. There we go. Now let's continue with the beard. So I'll make sure it goes all the way around to the other side of his head because I'm going to make a nice mouthpiece. This circular area is where the mouth's going to be, right here. So I'll make sure that that's nice and secure. And I'm just going to shorten the size just a little bit just so I can make the line of his mouth. Alright, now uh, Kimster has nice lips like he has red lips so I'm just gonna shade in right there with a nice um, rose red mache there there we go oh that's really starting to look really good there we go there there we go now next I'm gonna start drawing his eyes because Kimstar has really big eyes so I'm just gonna just really do nice round ones now just fill that in with a dot there there we go now I'm going to fill this in with a nice hazelnut brown because I believe that that's the colour of Keemstar's eyes, a nice hazel brown, that's a nice, that's a nice tint of brown so I'm just going just gonna to make sure that that's all. Now just put this in right here, that's really starting to look excellent. Now what I like to do is copy and paste his eyes to seemingly keep that symmetrical view to make sure that everything's in line so I'm just going to copy this eye. I'm just gonna move it right over there. Yeah, this is really starting to take off now. It's really starting to look like the official Daniel Keem of drama alert. Now, what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna draw him a nice nose on there. Just gonna draw a nose right there. There we go. Oh, nice. Now, I believe Keemstar has freckles, light freckles, but they had one or two across his face, so I'm just gonna put a few right there. There we go. I think that's plenty. So I'm just going to scroll out and um, let's get ready to draw the rest of his body. Now first I just need to uh, merge this down so it's all in one. There we go. There we go. That's really starting to look good. Now I'm going to shrink it down so I can draw the rest of his body. But first I think I really need to do a skin colour on it because it looks unfinished, doesn't it? You can see the, the transparent background. So I'm just going to colour his tint in right there with a nice, um, I'd say a nice oat coloured skin. I believe that's a nice skin colour. There we go. There we go. So I'm just going to make sure his ears are all the same colour. So that's it's really, really starting to look excellent now, I tell you. Hang on. 
to make sure the rest of his ears are all nice and oat coloured. Sure. Got to make sure to colour his eyes in as well, as well as his mouth. So much to his bottom lip. Uh, first, let's do his eyes. There we go. Then the top of his lip. There we go. But now I really need to fill his eyes in because it still looks unfinished. So let's make it into a nice, to a nice snow white colour. There we go. Make sure that's a nice white as well. There we go. Now let's do the rest of his body because it's still unfinished. So I'm going to go onto an empty layer and begin to draw. So I'm just going to take the paint tool and make it nice and big. There we go. Just make his round off his hands there. And uh, let's draw those legs too as well because I don't want to go into two different pieces of uh, two different pieces of project. So I'm just going to make his big muscles and back up to his neck. There we go. Oh, I made sure to fill in the round side of his body just by erasing the bottom line. Oops. There we go. There we go. Now, this isn't quite finished. I still need to do a little bit extra down at the torso, so make sure that I file off the leg parts, make sure that they're clear. But uh, this is just intentional detail. You don't have to do this if you're working on your own project, but uh, let's give him pecs. Let's give him lots of pecs. Let's give him lots of lines. There we go. You can really see how this is really coming together quite nicely. So I'm just going to go. And I think on that point, most people would like to do sort of watermarks, but I'm just going to put his name down just so it's 110% clear who it's really supposed to represent. Not that you'd need this for whatever reason, but meh, it's there just in case people don't know who I've drawn. This is a masterpiece, but seriously, I really love Drama Alert, I tell you now, and I was going to make this a lot earlier, but you know, the whole sub to Drama Alert trend was kicking off, and maybe I'm just on the edge of things, so I'm just going to, I'm going to put the hashtag sub to Drama Alert on there as well, if you're from Drama Alert, leave your comment as well, or if you watch this from me recommended, let me know, uh, if you want to see more drawing videos like this in the future, I'm just letting you know, it's an intentional parody. Don't worry, I make sure to love and support all the YouTubers I draw from this. Walked in the woods, found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar, walked in the woods. Okay. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar, walked in the woods. Yeah. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar, walked in the woods. Okay. Found a dead